All right, I'm done making UFC picks. I've lost too much money recently. I'm turning it over to the experts. So I called up a good friend of mine, a fellow New Jersey native, the host, the creator of Thicker Than Blood podcast. I got Justin Mariko here. Let's send it over to him right now to get our first pick. What's up, everyone? Justin is here from Thicker Than Blood Podcast. I am here with my good buddy, Kyle. He brought me in here to make a couple of UFC picks because this is the shit that I do and this is the shit that I love. So let's have a conversation on the first fight on UFC 251, the main card, Amanda Rebus versus Paige Van Zandt. I have a couple of picks going on this whole card. I'm making bets left and right, but this one is pretty interesting because if you look at the odds here, Amanda Rebus is going off at a minus 835 as a favorite to beat Paige Van Zandt, which is a plus 500 and something. You would think that Paige Van Zandt has no legs with those kind of odds that she's gonna go into this fight and get demolished. Well, I got something to tell you. The odds are pretty good right there because that's probably what's gonna happen. I hate to say it, I love Paige Van Zandt. Anyone that's on social media or TikTok knows who this girl is. She's huge, two million followers on Instagram. But how does that translate to fighting? Let me tell you something right now. She's got a record, I think she's about eight and four. It's not the greatest record, okay? You can't go by a fighter's record when you're making picks, when you think someone's gonna win or lose, because if you look at a fight later in the card that we're gonna talk about, you got Rose Nama Yunez fighting Jessica Andrade, both former champions, you look at Rose's record, if you knew nothing about her, you'd be like, oh, she sucks. It's not the case, I think she's nine and four. One of the best straw weights on the planet. So, Amanda Rebus, Paige Van Zandt, Amanda Rebus, you gotta look at her first, all right? She's about, I think she's nine and one, looking absolutely out of this fucking world in her last couple fights. I think her last win was a decision victory, looked spectacular, but before that, she beat a much bigger name, Mackenzie Dern. Unbelievable black belt in jiu-jitsu. Her ground game is pretty much unmatched with everyone that's on the roster, male or female it seems. Absolutely spectacular. Amanda Rebus put on a showcase, kept it on the feet, prevented the takedown, and beat the living piss out of Mackenzie Dern. There's a reason why she is such a heavy favorite, because if you take Paige Van Zant into consideration, her last couple fights, they haven't been the greatest. She hasn't looked spectacular. She won her last fight against Rachel Ostevich. Rachel Ostevich isn't exactly the greatest fighter either. I think she has a losing record. By no means am I saying that I can whoop her ass because the both of them will kill me. But Paige doesn't really seem to be on the same wavelength as Amanda Rebus when it comes to fighting right now. It's the last fight on her contract. I think she's more concerned with things after this. If you watch her, her Instagram videos, more concentrated on doing dances with her husband and all that other stuff. Amanda Rebus looks like an absolute killer. If it stays on the feet, which I think it's going to, I really think that this is gonna be possibly a first round knockout. My pick is Amanda Rebus by knockout. If I were to pick a round, I would say round one, maybe round two. I think that's what's gonna happen here because this girl's looking like an absolute killer. You also need to take into consideration one other thing. Both fighters have been fighting at straw weight for most of their career. Now, this time, they're fighting at flyweight. Very, very different. In that situation, perhaps you might give the edge to Paige Van Zandt. She seems like a little bit thicker of a girl, but Amanda Rebus is fucking jacked out of her mind. She may do unbelievable at 125, and who knows, we might see a situation like Cynthia Cavillo that just went in to 125 from 115, beat the number one contender, Jessica I, and now she's the next title contender for Valentina Shevchenko, which as we know, anyone who watches Valentina, the bullet, there is no one in that division that seems to pose a threat. If we see Amanda Rebus go in there and put on a showcase and win, we might see someone that might pose a threat to Valentina Shevchenko. My favorite fighter ever as a female, I would love to see someone actually challenge her like Amanda Nunez has in the past. Amanda Rebus, Paige Van Zandt, Amanda Rebus is my pick. I say by knockout, first or second round. If you're gonna pick Paige because of the odds, you might win more money. I don't know, it kinda seems like you might be flushing money down the toilet with that one. Those are my picks. I'm Justin Mariko at Justin underscore Mariko on Instagram, Thicker Than Blood podcast on YouTube. Come check us out and subscribe. That's my pick for UFC 251, this first fight. Let's go.